Hello everybody, welcome to the June reading. Today we are just going to hop right in, um, pick your pile and go down to the description box, press on the timestamp that represents your chosen pile and crystal. Um, we have a flower agate, a piece of coral, and a Lemurian quartz here for you. So whichever one is calling to you, you might want to take a second. Um, just head on over and we'll jump into your June predictions and overview. Hello, pile one. Okay, so right off the bat, I always like to take a second just to look at the crystal. So you chose the flower agate. This particular one took me a while to actually find like I was on the hunt for a really pretty looking um, pattern in the flower agate and so I feel like that kind of speaks about something that you might be moving through which leads me to believe that you are a very specifically designed person with a very specific path um, I also immediately just saw Kali Ma in my head, the goddess of destruction. So there are some things this month that are becoming incredibly obvious to you that you will have to remove from your path um, and call in some divine destruction so that you can end the things that are holding you back from being exactly who you were meant to be. And I think you have a lot of creative ideas um about that i also think relationship ties into this and there there is some significance to your relationship now or a relationship coming in or a, re a past relationship that or a, a passing relationship um that really is helping you form who you are and giving you a safe space in who you're meant to be and in, in, in incubating that and becoming that so um, we'll dive more into that because we do go into specifics for now. Let's see your overview tarot card. I'm using the She-Wolf tarot. All of my decks will be linked below um, for this reading, but we have the Ace of Cups. So Ace of Cups, um, for people who are, this right off the bat for I hear pregnancy. So pregnancy, someone around you could be pregnant. Um spirit babies could be reaching out to you i also see a lot of yoni energy in this cosmic space which makes me think that you're really coming of age um in a spiritual way like and what i mean by that is a lot of times the youthful feminine feels casted out empty um needing external validation kind of the siren temptress energy uh, can surround her in that she's easily susceptible to falling for her own trickery. And I think that you are heading out of that now. You are kind of like ready to graduate into the, from like the maiden to the mother. Um, and you don't have to actually be graduating into motherhood. There, there's, you know, that's more of an archetype here um, because this is a general reading that might not apply to everybody and that's perfectly okay. But you're headed into a more relaxed and mature time of your life. Those are the words that I got. I feel like you're really going to be connecting to your ancestors a lot, and you already have been. The orange sun makes me feel like you're in so much clarity. You know how deep your emotions go. You know what fulfills you. You're being vulnerable. I feel like you have tried to make things work that just like haven't worked, and now you're and that's kind of that graduation of maidenhood to motherhood is realizing just like what isn't realistic and practical for your path and for your inner child to actually grow up now. Um, and that doesn't mean that it's you growing up. It could be a project that fulfills you coming to fruition um, and self-worth just really building up here. And you might have to dump that cup out first and empty out things that no longer fulfill you before <sighs> yeah see i yawn it's kind of like things are tired things need to go um some cleansing is happening for you and it's all leading you to a space no matter what this month you are going to come out victorious is a word i heard just now secrets will no longer be kept um, and that means even the secrets you keep from your audience your peers the people around you like 
your secrets about who you really are and what you really want to do and being embodied and empowered and paid for what you want to do and be. It's all coming around this month for you to really, I hear up for grabs, like opportunities are up for grabs this month for you. And that might not make sense yet, but it is coming. So just trust here. Um, I do think that I'm going to read you an excerpt from one of these Isis cards. So let's see here. Past life, present power. Beautiful. Okay, so we're kind of just doing an overview to start off and then we'll go into the specific areas, the work, the spiritual and the love aspects of this month. So for you, oh my gosh, I'm yawning. Woo, okay. Past life, present power. This is goes in alphabetical order. I just want to read you a couple things that stand out to me first. So this is from the Isis Oracle and Isis has just been so around so much Egyptian, Egyptian symbology. I realized I didn't put on any rings except for I was wearing the Eye of Ra. Um, so I just felt like she was in order to be a part of this reading and not to mention the back of these cards have Isis wings on them. So really cool. Okay past life present power when the soul is growing in service to humanity in service to the great feminine and her call that all beings be healed and free it gathers internal resources to assist on the path these resources include powers and gifts from other lifetimes you are currently integrating past life abilities and are guided by the oracle of past life present power to be open to shifting internally and in your experience of your own levels of power and spiritual ability so things are being restored, um, digested, expanded. I see, um, often when integration is occurring, people who have been connected to you in such lifetimes became a more prominent part of your life. It is possible that they will remain thus or that this integration or that the integration happens and you continue to grow. Some of those geez, I cannot read, or that as the integration happens and you continue to grow, some of those relationships will fall away and you have completed the karmic healing and integration of those energies associated to that past life. Distilled the golden gift and are ready to move on. So in the next few weeks, I think that um, things that you've been waiting to like wrap up or gain clarity on or call in, like I, ver I feel a lot of full circle moments. You also have like kind of a round crystal here. You have the Ace of Cups, the Big Sun, the Time, the Twin Snakes. I feel that your love life is very blessed. So lots of internal love and self-worth is happening for you and it's being mirrored by the people who really matter. You're able to magnetize what you want and that could show results this month in terms of relationship. But this, when we zoom out, is actually really about letting the beginnings be fluid as you really focus on the destruction piece. I think that letting things go is more important. Like the time is trickling in a very divine manner. And so as things need to pass and opportunities arise to get out of situations and wrap up loose ends, finish projects, um, draw boundary, take the L. Like if you lose something this month, it was so meant to be. Just consider it a sacrifice to your higher self so that they can come in and guide you a little bit deeper. Okay, so um, the karmic stuff is also being cleared. If you have any past karmic stuff, I'm hearing like high school problems, um, things that you did in your youth, um, that maybe you haven't told people about, things you were embarrassed for, all those things are being cleared and released now and they will not be coming with you. So um, forgive yourself, take a moment to take a deep breath now. And know that anything from your past is healed and it's okay and forgiveness on your part for yourself is the only thing really necessary. I'm feeling called to pull three of these um, sacred geometry by lawn oracle cards I don't read oracle cards inversed I take inversals usually as just a little bit of a resistance to the energy or um, not really being familiar with it so having a harder time integrating it so just remember to embrace these energies essentially since you had two inversals we have a solar plexus chakra so that divine warmth inside is guiding you as a 
it's like a guiding light whatever lights you up and your passions are so what god like i hear god you know god universe wants you to follow that that sacred masculine wants to build structures for your sacred feminine to create so that you can be this like dope and uh, androgynous boundless creature of creativity right so um you are headed somewhere sacred and even if you don't realize that the path is open and clear yet it will be incredibly obvious you have karmic rewards being cashed in on the universe is not going to let you stick around people places and things that don't serve you be patient um because the universe will do it for you is what I'm getting. It wants to empower you, it wants to see you win. This transition, the frequency of transition supports our deep understanding of the ever-changing nature of existence in our lives so that we can learn to let go, surrender to the process and allow transition to occur with ease and grace. Okay, I think that what I was getting before about the youthful self or like past regrets is like, whatever you did in the past and you, you know your weaknesses and you know, um, your character defects you know where you've gone wrong in the past and your higher self just wants you to forgive yourself and see yourself with absolute love compassion and clarity because because of those circumstances now you won't be repeating any mistakes that maiden self that youthful self um is going through a very divine like death so that something can be rebirthed that's very much guiding you towards it so that chapter wow it's 11 11 on the clock just now on the camera so that phase is going to end no matter what in a very beautiful graceful way just let let the universe handle it connect to sacred guides i even see like christ consciousness um religious figures uh saints i'm seeing a lot of holy energy around you just like you are so deserving and worthy and sacred within your purity is not confined to this lifetime and purity is such a concept that we've just ugh, like totally strangled into a human man-made concept when in reality it's about your ability to return to intention this pure heart intention of reality like i know exactly what has happened in this world in my world and in my internal world and i'm ready to um stand in that authentically surrendered to the powers that are available to me and let that guide me forward so it's a very uplifting divinely guided time for you call in guides build an altar trust surrender to that like wavy spiritual p part of yourself because that's who's really in charge right now whether you believe these changes are possible or not, um, the universe will prove it to you. So a lot of beautiful miracles are happening. Before we move into the specific aspects of June, um, I want to roll some of my astro dice for you. So significant signs, planets, etc. We have Leo energy, so more of this like sun energy, this the path is clear, things are illuminated, or the path is illuminated, it doesn't mean it's necessarily quite clear, but it is going to be clear as long as you just keep putting one foot in front of the other and being patient and staying in your self. And I keep hearing the word holy, like stay with your spirit, your higher self act with your higher self be patient kind and compassionate and one step of the way things will be unveiled and there's a lot of mystery there but that's the beautiful part about it so we also have uranus so wild change and beginnings are at hand um, they'll be unveiling themselves throughout june in the second house of ownership ruled by taurus uh, material belonging so you are going your needs are going to be met the people that need to know and see you to get in to certain arenas will be there like i see your connections paying off right now um and then other connections as they take on new forms just allowing that to happen so that upgrade can just like flow you know what i'm saying so to recap all of it if you're in a limelight of some sort, if you want more of a following, if you want to write a book, if you want to put something out there, if you're a creator, you are going to be seen for that. It's time to step deeper into that. 
You don't need to know what that looks like because the universe is going to guide you. Certain things will be lost. Relationships will take new forms. New people will come in and other people will leave. And it is all guiding you to be this very embodied, unified version of yourself that has not existed yet, that is more responsible, healthy, and caring. Um, and there are many hidden, beautiful mysteries that will unfold throughout June that will help you believe in this process a little bit more. And relationship is blessed as well. Okay, so that's your general overview. Let's go into the specifics of all of this now. Okay, so to start off, um, I'm gonna pull one of these goddess cards. This is going to be all about love life. Oh my God, I need to pull two. Purification, infinite supply. Okay, whatever lacks, um, that sometimes get your goat <laughs> whatever whenever you feel like they're not gonna show up or they're letting me down or will this ever be what I want it to be or am I ever gonna find the right person right now is not the time to be focusing on anybody else it's actually about you and getting clear on your multifacetedness releasing this idea that one person cannot be fully whole and unified that I'm even feeling the call to mention like that people really truly believe that their higher self is in a relationship and it's just not that's a very low level way of looking at yourself because your higher self is coming to meet you and they are a standalone independent I even hear female led character there is an abundance, an infinite supply of what someone like that can call in. But someone who's like, well, I'm not whole unless I have this, this, or that, they just can't. They're too, they're, their narrow path, their narrow mindset is such a slim hallway of manifestations. The chances of them getting what they want is so slim because that path can't open up and receive. It's just this, you know, it's just this is all can, that can fit only this way. But when you see yourself as this like expanded, very authentic, vulnerable being that's here and whole as is, that courage and ability to act radically sovereign to the self through all phases is a very courageous undertaking and it that is how you get to victory and that's how you attract what you want so that's that um and then i'm going to pull a spiritual card spiritual um like zoomed in look i'm feeling this one and this one and that one. Oh my gosh wow okay so this deck is the sacral chakra oracle um they were so kind to gift me this deck and it's a new one in my collection so we have number 11 creation so again this 11 is the number of abrahadabra or change in high magic fear of judgment so you could be intimidated. I have a feeling that you came from a place that was very chaotic. You had something about your childhood that made you feel like peace was such an, a, a thing to acquire in this lifetime and satisfaction and money and all those things. There's something that you want to acquire so badly and you probably feel like you just can't take any more of this like fire that burns you. And so you hide in your own world that sometimes ventures into escapism, addiction, and a made-up reality. And you have the right idea, but opening up and blossoming and trusting in the roots is actually going to be what guides you to what you're looking for. You're very curled up and in your own create, creative world, and while that can be safe and beautiful, it's just not you anymore. There's too much opportunity to do that. So. This change that's happening, we have the phoenix here. I said trusting in your roots. We have ancestral trauma, number five, the number of contraction. Hands are reaching. You believe that <clears throat> there will be consequences if you let someone down or let something go. 
you believe that you are stuck in a situation and though that identity may have many benefits, you are not stuck and something is changing. Ashes will occur so that this change can happen. Something is going to end and it's going to be so brilliant and beautiful and so great for you and supply you with more than you could ever hope for. And it's about standing true and being a profound activist according to how this society operates in terms of breaking this belief that you can't be X, Y, or Z. Like me personally, I'm feeling called to give a personal example. I used to not believe that I could be sober and happy and fit in. I used to not believe that I could get out of an hourly job I used to not believe that people would take me seriously as a psychic or teacher because of my age being so young. I used to not really think that people would see me for what I am valid for, like moving out very, very young and fending for myself since a very young age. Um, I didn't think people could ever see those things and respect me. And I didn't think that it was possible to be happy as a healthy human being. So if you're dealing with addiction or a work thing or an, a toxic friendship or relationship or idea around your work life, like open up and let the universe do something for you because something is going to change and it's gonna be so spiritually fulfilling and just let go, truly. And, um, oh, I feel it. Such beautiful peace is, is on its way to you. Okay. And then lastly for work, you know I gotta pull, oh my god, I just, I'm gonna, oh, whoa, there's a whole stack here. Okay. The turtle, oh, that's cute. Why do I need to pull this one too? The whale. Okay, well, we have two sea creatures, so water signs in the workplace could be a thing. You could be a water sign. Um, I also see, like, the turtle being kind of that slow building creature so you could be on a slow build something you're working on could have a slow takeoff time and then the whale makes me think like but be patient because it gets monumental <laughs> like there is a song behind the individual racket and banging of the orchestra right um Something is calling you to keep exploring too. Whatever you're creating and taking part in, all the dogs are barking now. Um, they all join in in this beautiful symphony around the neighborhood. Um, and just keep going. You can't stop so shallow. You might have this whole grand vision, but I think you have a habit of thinking you're doing so much or you're overworking yourself and doing, you are doing a lot, but you're not actually going deep and, um, and sticking to it for a while like you got to stick to I feel patience is huge for you like if you want to break this status quo and go into what you're doing full-time you got to do it day in and day out if you want that whale money paying off like that huge fortune that huge thing coming it does not come quick it comes after a lot of determination and that unfortunately is reality sometimes you have to keep showing up it's not going to be a one and done that's not sustainable how are you going to build a lasting empire off of stone um or off of like dirt you got to let that dirt turn into something like very tough water has to move through it cleansings have to happen this thick mud has to form like you know what i'm saying like time and wisdom happen simultaneously that allow a payoff to happen so all in all, keep going. Be patient. Whatever needs to leave, I think this is the time, if you're in like a job that you need to leave or something about your job needs to shift, you're in the time of shifts right now and then what's coming after that will be time more so for your passions to really pay off, okay? So hard work first, patience first, spiritual alignment needs to happen before you can really know what to do with what's coming. And so that, Oh, and my phone dinged right as I said that, so that's pretty cool. Okay, I want to do a little bit more tarot for the month of June for you. So let's see here. Temperance. 
two of wands, five of wands, and one more. Death. Okay, like I said, <laughs> it's a time to weed out stuff. Five of wands is all about like really alchemizing with other people and seeing who works well together, who doesn't, what needs to shift, what needs to happen. It's turbulent for sure, but you might get a couple scratches on your knee, but in, at the end of the day, it's a fun game that you will get to walk away from with a lot of knowledge and experience. So things are leaving. You're going to seek a greater beyond this month for sure. You might get a couple of bumps and bruises along the way. I don't know why I keep saying that. Like playing to win is important right now for you. Like just make it through this. Oh, what am I trying to say? I'm getting all stumbled up. I, I know what I'm trying to say. It's like, since you are seeking something, you're seeking an end goal and you're serious about it and you two of wands is Mars and Aries. It's like apply force quickly. You're going to do that and it will be good. But by the same token, all this like seeking energy sometimes has a polarity with it as everything does. And that means that certain little things might happen that you weren't expecting and certain conflicts and certain outcomes will happen because you moved a bunch of energy and and that will allow you to complete this cleansing you know i also think detoxing from something or getting rid of an addiction you really have to take that seriously um if you want to reap your rewards it's very energetic at this time for you Ooh, what just fell out divine masculine and divine feminine and the nine of pentacles if you want an enhanced love life as i was saying that talking about detoxing sobriety is a part of it Yep, you you can get what you want, the money, the house, the, the marriage or whatever, the divine partnership, all these things can happen, but it's gonna require you to have a very clean vessel. You cannot fly off the handle <laughs> with substances or any of that. You have to believe, like, and I kept feeling that too, so sobriety's a big part and you're not gonna manifest a lot if you can't. Um, refrain and you also have temperance too another sobriety card and this doesn't have to be just substance it can be like toxic relationships codependency is huge um it's anything that you continuously go back to expecting a different result um that obviously will not have a different result and also cleansing and giving something up it's not just to sacrifice something it's to literally change your vibration and change your habits because some part of your habits or beliefs around what you need in order to sustain yourself is exactly what's holding you back and it'll make sense if you just trust the process travel can be very significant this month um, and anything that wants to go just let it go and it's all gonna be safe and beautiful. And at the end of the road, if you can keep yourself in that cleansing energy and really trust the process and join in and hold hands with that higher self and let spirit like fill your heart with newness and freshness and beauty and excitement and creativity, you will end up being a very self-sustaining individual with a booming business and all these facets of life and people will be like, how did you get that? And you'll know how to answer that question. And you'll know that it's an energetic process for beings to get to that point. You'll know that it comes with breaking systematic oppression and donating to people and knowing how to spend your money wisely and where to put it and who to help along the way and who not to help along the way and who to bring with and who not to bring with and what habits and beliefs and patterns can come and what which ones can't right now though you have to learn which ones need to be let go of one foot in front of the other one day at a time and patience and then you can have all the rewards just a little bit more of a stretch you know and that's what this month is about it's going to be so liberating is your keyword so with that i want to send you off with one more oracle card from the starseed oracle by rebecca campbell the Cosmic Heart, Devotion, Potency, Make Your Life a Moving Prayer. We have more of that holiness. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, if you want to do divine things, you got to kind of be a divine being, right? Like, we never hear these profound stories about people who are just, like, living these incredibly, like, not divine lives. You know what I'm trying to say? I don't know. And here's a spell card for you. So if you want to screenshot this and use it, we have to ease nervousness. Oh, yeah, nothing's going to happen. Don't be anxious. You have no tragedy this month. It's going to be fine. I mean, I guess I shouldn't say that because it's such a general reading, but it's mostly anxiety that you have about, oh, this just like flew out. Cure insomnia. Yeah, you're mostly just dealing with anxiety. Plus it's Gemini season, so um, you can screenshot that if you wanna use it. It's Gemini season, the nervous system's at an all time high, which is another reason to cut out any stimulants, substances, coffees, cut back on all that stuff. Um, because the nervous system is likely to get overblown, overstimulated, the thyroid, all these things can kind of be affected by this season. Um, so it's a great opportunity to cleanse. Go ahead and take it. Okay, with that, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, let me know what you thought in the comments below. Take what you like, leave the rest. Bye. Hello, pile two. So right off the bat, I always like to talk a little bit about the crystal that you chose. You chose the coral um, stone. I just got this. It's like a really nice round uh, tumbled piece of coral and it's connected to mermaids and sirens and um, the, the gift of song, water signs, divine femininity. So there's a lot of layers to this piece and I also feel like the word well-roundedness stuck out to me. And so that can be a hint about your June is it might be a very balanced but beautiful feminine time for you to go with the flow and dive deep into the self without uh, like instruction or construction. So what I mean by that is you don't have to follow any structures. You don't need to do anything. It's just about going in. So um, you don't need to make any plans if you don't want to. You don't have to be so structured anymore. You don't need to hold yourself to these standards. I think you're starting to see through what no longer serves you and allowing yourself to just be authentic and be like not carefree as in like reckless, but more here to have a good, beautiful time. So with that, you have the Ten of Cups, Mars and Pisces. Okay, so Mars and Pisces, I like to read the tarot very much based off of the astro astrological correspondences. It gives you a whole other lens to look at them through. Here we have a mother nursing um, a child. We have these beautiful colors beaming from her with this like solid black. We have the tower in the distance, um, a reflection happening. Something about all of this, again, seems so multi-layered and multifaceted in this. Like the tower in the tarot back here symbolizes, um, well, it's ruled by Mars, and this is Mars in Pisces. And so we have the water and the tower, and that's very symbolic of that placement. So though there's been big changes and structures and rules and regulations and ego and all of these things that you've dealt with in the real world, You've found and are finding this month a deeper safe haven to hold yourself within reality. You are not escaping anymore. You're taking the gifts of the siren, of Pisces, of um, mermaid-like things to be very dual citizenship within the feminine realms and the masculine realms. The liminal, intuitive, dreamlike, pleasurable, beautiful places that exist both within and outside of you and also the structures, the routines, the regulations, the rules, and you're getting all of those things to serve you. So that's beautiful and you're being nourished from that and you're nourishing others. Um, I do think this is a positive side sign for motherhood if you're hoping to conceive, for connecting deeper with family. The only hindrance of Mars in Pisces is that it's a little unrealistic, but it's very soft and gentle at the same time. So no huge consequences for the unrealisticness. Ugh. Just don't try to solve your problems with drugs and alcohol. Okay, folks. Woo. Because that's kind of, you know, Mars doing Pisces, a eh, little finicky in that realm, right? Okay. So 
I want to do a little bit of zoomed out stuff before we dive into the three main parts of June that I'm going to be focusing on, which is work, love, and spirituality. So right here, oh, I want to pull the very first one, enter the chamber of healing. I decided to use the Isis Oracle cards because I've just been like really getting a lot of Isis imagery um in my mind's eye and i've really been connected to her and just like getting these messages and she's just crossed over in a lot of my studies like numerology and stuff like that so i was like okay we're gonna use the isis cards then on the back of these cards are the isis wings and then i realized that i didn't put on any rings before this reading and the only one i was wearing was the eye of Ra, so another egyptian um symbol so Lots of channeling and, and balance is happening this month and, um, you know, beautiful Isis is surrounding us during this time. So enter the chamber of healing. Here we go. I'm just going to read a couple pieces that kind of stand out and intuitively hop around this. So a spiritual gift of healing is coming to you now. Be open without expectation or preconceived notions and allow the healing from the Lady Isis, Mistress of Magic, to help you find the best solution for any situation that does not appear as it should be. Take your time and create space into which her magic and energy can flow. Expect your miracle. This oracle comes to you as a messenger. Prepare for great changes because they are on their way now. Woo! I feel a lot of excitement here. Unconditional love, highest good. Um, you will realize the unfoldment of the process or circumstance that it was a spiritual healing gift from the divine, even though you may not immediately recognize it at such, such at the time. You're going to recognize healing by the experience of it and its effect, even before the complete resolution of the issue at hand. So the issue is somehow lifted from you. So literally the divine is coming in to help you this month. Like um, spending time in places that you love, with a pet, with friends, relaxing, enjoying space. Letting things flow, right? There's a lot of fluidity here because the divine wants to take care of you by following that intuitive part of yourself that just knows what needs to happen. It seems that you're being gifted this month with a lot of grace and fortune of that just kind of happening and things falling into place so long as you are open hearted, right? Okay, um, we're going to pull a couple of oracle cards. I'm feeling called to do two. Belief. And authority. See, we have a lot of this duality here where it's like the structure is going to follow the belief in the manifestation. Number 11, the number of abrahadabra, the number of change, the number of something taking a new form is here. The frequency of belief supports our sense of self-worth based on our gifts and talents and a strong connection to source. Authority, number 10, the number of material, um, the material realm and the 10th house of public relation, public status and uh, wealth. The frequency of authority reminds us that true authority is powerful, directed and realized yet receptive, wise and loving. Okay. Wow. A lot of m maturation, maturation is happening for you. You're definitely taking all these like gifts and totems and symbols and and pieces of wisdom and advice and ancestral remembrance and spirituality and skills and self and applying them all to the mystery of what lies ahead of you and it's going to turn out obviously just super radical but we are going to go deeper into this because i do want to see the facets of radicalness that are coming your way okay so um Oh, before we do that, let's roll some astro dice here. So which um, planets, placements, and signs are significant to group two this month? We have nine, ninth house, travel, um, philosophy, religion, spiritual studies, the sign of Sagittarius rules the ninth house, so any of those things could be significant. We have Venus. Uh, pretty self-explanatory, luxury, beauty, letting things come to you, the feminine side, the um, luxurious and pure state of desire, 
and then we also have Virgo so health needs to be taken into consideration in all of these things because Virgo does rule the sixth house of health Virgo requires a level of order and presence so again so long as you aren't trying to escape via codependency toxic relationships going back to old things that don't serve you substance abuse addictions um, you know, any sort of escapism just won't really be tolerated and you'll be immediately cut off of things if you choose to ignore that message is a thing that I got and then that just flipped to Sagittarius, which makes me, f or yes, to Sagittarius, which is ninth house. So again, traveling um, could be a big place where things arise and you are tested and gifted and, and whatnot. And also Sagittarius can be a significant sign. Okay. So we're going to go into the individual aspects of June for you. Let's go ahead and start with work for this pile. Okay, so for work we have the whale, pile two. Oh, I always want to pull like all of them. The buffalo and the hummingbird. Okay, so I mean definitely with the hummingbird we're taking what we're masters of and applying our heart to it. So. If something feels like it's getting old, also the buffalo representing kind of this old wisdom. The whale too lives to an extremely old age. Um, if anything's starting to feel old to you in your work life, buckle into what ignites your heart. So the things that are just like old and outdated, structures may need to change, things may need to shift, new depths will need to be explored. My neighbors are having a, a ball over there, so if you hear them, that's what that is. Um, but there is something incredibly spiritual about what you're working on and what you're focusing on. Some part of your attention is being being delegated to something that you are incredibly passionate about and that is what is calling you to follow it. Now, certain changes are going to happen to allow you to do that. Now, very similar to pile one, um, you are going to be gifted with wealth in this lifetime. You are going to know what wealth is like in cohesion with following the heart's longings and purposes. It doesn't mean there won't be a lot of journeying and traveling to understand how that will look, but it is coming. And this month you will really understand the road in which that will happen. Okay, so work life is incredibly blessed, though there might be some things that need weeding out that are kind of old, right? Um, and the universe is going to do that for you, no problem. Just stay patient, stay in your spirit, stay out of trouble. Um, now for spiritual guidance, oh, I just want to pull the top card, but I'm not going to do that. Let me just like really get in here. Ooh, okay, this one feels good. Fear of exploration. Okay, something needs to change with you. Um, for sure. I mean, this transformation, I think you're expecting the worst. It's not going to be bad for your information. Expectations. Okay. You might have kind of a narrow hallway of what you think needs to happen. Like you're like, it can only look like this. And it's like, you're on the right track, but the way you're going to manifest it is not by, not by sitting and waiting for something to happen. Um, it's about trying new things, forming new structures to support what you're passionate about creating. So you gotta keep trying things, you gotta stick to it. You can't just um, do it once and expect it all to, like the law of attraction, literally, this is what that card is, it's literally about focusing on it repeatedly, scripting things, manifesting things, revisiting that vision so that you can come back with a new fresh perspective on how to attain those things. You have to have action that follows things up. You can't just sit there and um, expect things to shift without your action. You have to keep putting action in. Just because things haven't paid off yet doesn't mean they're not going to. And lastly, inner child. It's about being creative. It's about having fun about releasing expectation on how your creation should look and actually just doing what is fun. Have a good time. This life, contrary to popular belief, is not about productivity and what you can accomplish. 
it's about having a beautiful, fulfilling time. And if you prioritize happiness, you will know what responsibilities you need to carry out. You will know who and what is worth your time. Every step of the way, it will be obvious, but making a huge long lasting plan isn't probably realistic for you. You know the general boxes you need to check. You know the general responsibilities that you need to carry out, but there are gonna be some shifts that are going to help you to better dial in a routine that serves you. So small adjustments make big waves. Something is going to pay off, but you have to keep trying. So just don't stop, that's all. Um, maybe you also have a fear that your expectations won't be met, but they will eventually. Ooh, sorry, I burped. But I think that's because you have some cleansing that you're doing. And what is beyond that cleanse is not emptiness. It's actually a slate that is cleaned of all of the, the clutter that holds you back in general from seeing how to live a more fulfilling life and how to do things on a more effective timeline. They're not huge changes that take things from you. It's just these simple shifts, these realistic shifts that are going to occur this month and you're going to get the opportunity to do that and there might be some some pain occasionally but that's no big deal because it's all leading you to a very beautiful state that is much more sustainable than any state you've been in before so don't fear the unknown because it holds all the potentiality that you're looking for you know this is all very broad but I'm hoping that you can apply that to something very relevant because I do think that people are wondering about various things. Um, but you're an artist in your own right, you know? You're creating something that you want to be understood for, and you will be, but you have to keep creating it in different languages, if you will. You have to keep going and trying, and, and then the universe is going to take away and add things in that um, inspire you to go down new roads that lead you to the success that you're looking for. So you have the general map, but it's about actually exploring the terrain now. Okay, so that's just your spiritual um, overview. And then now we're going into a love piece, the arts. Okay, I have no idea where that cut off because of course I wasn't looking, but I pulled two goddess cards for your love life and we got Sarasvati, the arts, and Sulis, bodies of water. So both of these cards make me feel like there is an incredible creative tantric journey um, within you and whether that is being expressed through more self-pleasure or self-expression or literally creating things, working on um, passion projects, there is something creative that you're going to be doing that will pay off. Um, but in terms of love life, I think that this just means expansion. Whatever you're looking for, you're, you're going to see progress on that. So whether you're looking for a relationship or you're in a relationship, something is enhanced this month. Um, lots of beautiful cleansing is taking place between you and a divine counterpart if your divine divine counterpart is in your life uh yeah i feel cleansing more than anything and i think that if you're solo there is cleansing in this ability to understand how multifacetedness and and whole how multifaceted and whole you really are um and so Let's go a little bit deeper with some tarot now. I'm using the She-Wolf tarot, I think I already mentioned that. A little bit more about work. Okay. A little bit more about spirit. Oh my gosh, these all came up in pile one. How am I doing that? Because I'm pulling from the top and bottom? Well, I think it's meant to be because I was feeling this, this unison anyway. Okay, seriously. <laughs> it's Saturn. Okay. This is so funny. Okay, let's do one more. Oh my God, I am cracking up. I just pulled almost every single card that came out from Pile One. I swear I shuffled it. Can I please just pull two more? 
Okay, so I do think that there's this fear of lack. Okay, and I think that you sometimes have a fear of going into your spirit or into your creativity because you think it's not productive enough. Ding! A light just went on. You are so highly creative and energetically charged that to compensate for how unrealistic that can feel sometimes, you grip on to things that provide you a sense of material security, whether it be jobs, people, places and things, you think that that makes you real. That is developed in various ways for various people, so I'm not gonna go any deeper than that. But I think that this is a a, a cling problem. You're clinging on to things when in reality you're a strong, independent, um, female, masculine being that needs to have light shed on just how capable you really are and the universe is willing to take things away from you sometimes so that you can really dive into that teaching and not just sit in your comfort zone. And that doesn't have to be a scary thing. It doesn't have to be a tragic thing. It just literally means sometimes you get put into uncomfortable positions where you're forced to balance both reality and, dr and dreaminess. And what that can feel like is very different from what we think it will feel like. We can have all of our needs met and still not be happy. We're learning how to literally merge happiness and our dreams with reality. It takes work. It takes trying things over and over again. It takes trying to collaborate with different people and realizing different people aren't for you and you aren't for them. It takes little bits of conflict. It takes exploration. It takes traveling, exploring different cultures, being an activist. It requires understanding feminism and how um, the intersections between spirituality and societal oppression have played a part in your life and in your work life and in the way you believe yourself to be capable of security and happiness and um, how relationship might be the fulfilling thing in your life and it and there's nothing wrong with divine love or the the divine pieces of um, you know what it means to be human and have partnership and go through challenges but there is something to be said about how deeply it it may have embedded itself into your operations and day-to-day -day life and the universe is giving you this month to change those things. Your hard work is going to pay off so that you never want to not work hard. Like you never not want to work hard. Like you will want to keep working at what you love and be passionate and put the time in because you understand how much that can pay off after this month. Something big is paying off. You need to know how to spend your money wisely. Money is going to come in and investing it and saving it and all that is important. Um, that's not a threat. Like it's not like something's going to in like decrease after that, but you want something to show, you know, if you make a ton of money, you don't want to walk away with just like some stuff and like, I don't know. You, it, it's going to be important though, for you to have some sort of a plan of action and look to your elders and the people around you that know how to do that for guidance on that. Um, but yeah, your hard work is about to pay off and I think this month will show results and you're going to be very happy about that. And it's all helping you understand how valid and worthy you really are and how when you put your mind to something and stay vigilant and show up every day, what you're capable of. And when people are like, how do you have that kind of luck? You'll know it's not luck. I mean, it is, it's blessings, but you'll know what it also took. You'll know that you showed up for that, you know? Um, all right, okay, so lots of rewards and self-worth and beauty. These cards look so wild. Um, to send you off, I'm gonna do one spell card and one oracle card. We'll start with the oracle card. The seven star sisters, birthing creations, tapestry of life expression. So yeah, your a creative endeavor is definitely in order for you that and it will pay off. Whether it be your social media, a specific project. I even see like movies, acting, which could be like kind of like TikTok even. I mean, I don't know, skits, YouTube, uh collaborations since there's seven. You may feel that you are also standing out of the crowd right now and something divine is coming your way. Oh my God. Lots of yawning. You may feel that 
divine things are happening to you over other people and just embrace that and let that be because you're special and it's your time okay and then we have a spell for general healing i'm going to hold that up and focus on it you can screenshot that if you'd like to do this spell this month it's the one that i pulled for you from the wikipedia spell deck um, and with that, I hope that you enjoyed this reading. I really enjoyed giving it to you. Um, and I'm very excited for your month of June. Oh my god, this one is also on the bottom and I just saw it and I feel like you need to see it. It is um, strengthening psychic abilities. So if you want to also screenshot that and do that. Okay guys um, and ladies and everyone and all of them. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hello, pile three. So in this reading, I always like to start off with the crystal. This crystal is a Lemur Lemurian quartz recorder crystal. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out how. Okay, there we go. So it might be kind of hard to see, but there are these like markings on it. Um, a lot of people have different interpretations of the markings because they look different to everybody. Personally, I feel like they look kind of like Egyptian um, tablature or something like that. Not tablature, tablets. <sighs> but I said tablature, so maybe you need to learn an instrument or a guitar or something like that. But um, these crystals are significant to people recalling past lives, tying up karmic ties, being able to really move forward without creating more karmic and psychic debris, forgiving ourselves for past mistakes and trusting that we have learned from them, being a divine channel, understanding star seeds, and diving into spiritual practices. There's something otherworldly about the month of June for you. Um, and then I pulled one tarot card just to get an overview. Oh my gosh, Nine of Cups. Wow, Nine of Cups is the wish fulfillment card. Sometimes it can have to do with laziness or gluttony, but no matter what, there can be wow an abundance of some sort like the amount of dogs that have joined in the neighborhood symphony of barking just now um there there is an abundance upon you and it is not just any abundance it is something that is very emotionally fulfilling there's something that she's holding behind her back here in the she-wolf tarot which makes me feel like the universe has something in store for you and she's gazing up at the sun something is being clearly given and channeled via this vessel so you and your creativity and something you've been wanting to manifest is going to come to fruition in the month of june and it's going to be very spiritually and um emotionally rewarding okay so that clear sight is also a, another thing that's kind of standing out to me about both of these things so far the way I like to do the monthly readings is I like to kind of do a zoomed out and then I zoom in onto the individual aspects of love, spirituality, and work or study or finances. <clears throat> so I'm going to pull one of these Isis cards to do uh, like an overview. I've mentioned this in all the other decks, so now I want to mention it in this one, but this like Egyptian stuff and Isis herself has been standing out so much, even more so in this reading because I always think that, yeah, I already mentioned that, that the, this particular Lemurian crystal has like Egyptian type markings on it. And then I also have just been having Isis come through in many ways and studies and things that I've been up to. Um, and... I forgot to put my rings on for this reading and then I realized that I only had one on which is the Eye of Ra, a, an Egyptian um, archetype and what else? Oh and then also on the back of the She-Wolf cards is an Isis wing so we have tons of Egyptian symbology coming through and I wanted to mention that. So for pile three I am feeling called to do two of the Isis cards. Mm, I want to pull the top and the bottom. Okay three. Power over seven scorpions. We have the serpent of fire and the divine sun child. Okay, so the sun was already really standing out to me. So again, I feel this illumination is coming upon you. So creative things that you've been wanting to maybe turn into a business, um, conversations that you've been wanting to have, stepping into the limelight, um, enhancing your following, increasing your audience. Um, coming out and sharing your creativity, performing, learning instruments, sharing 
projects, things like that are they're they're making their way out into the world and people are wanting to see you and collaborate is a word that I'm hearing with you and it's obvious to other people the path that you are on and it's highly inspiring and the universe is going to pay you in some manner for this hard work and um, power over seven scorpions has a lot to do with our ability to understand our lack mindset our inability to be vulnerable our past pains the places we've been harmed over jealousy and ego and sexuality and all sorts of of things that have just poisoned us and turning those things into powerpoints that we can teach from very chiron very much applying sacred wisdom to real life circumstances and being able to take the hard stuff and look at it as a real moment to grow and to persevere so then we have the serpent of fire which makes me feel like there is some sort of ignition going on again with the sun and the divine sun child and the nine of cups it's like you are literally on fire people are being warmed by you they're being guided by you um you're inspiring people i get that classic like message of like light the way so that other people can follow you again the following symbolism coming out so you can have an increase in people wanting to support you this month and then blessings of the sun falcon okay so wow this is beautiful <clears throat> and then i you know i feel called to go ahead and read you a little bit of the divine sun child because i felt like that one really wanted to come out oh there it is Mm -hmm. I'm just going to read you a couple of excerpts from this book. Blessings of the Sun Falcon, the Divine Sun Child Horus, son of Isis and Osiris, flow to you now, beloved initiate. It is time to allow your life to flourish without limits, to set your light, to let your light burn bright and without veil, just like the midsummer sun burning without contest in Egyptian in the Egyptian desert. Blessings of the Sun Falcon herald a time. When your divine legacy is being born, it is your time to burn bright. So this divine sun child was born out of impossible circumstances through the great devotion of his mother, Isis, and her loving determination to heal her husband and bring him back to life. The king of Egypt, defeating dark forces that would seek to destroy him and all that he loved. So there's like the story of a hero. So I think you are literally emerging into a state that you did not think was possible because of where you came from and because of your past circumstances. So I feel a lot of optimism. I feel a lot of energy also in this reading compared to the last two. So your time spent out or your time spent in the darker forest of your journey, if we we're speaking about like kind of archetypal journeys, um, is paying off now and you don't have to go back. And then also to furthermore take a look into the overview of June for you, we're going to use some of these Lawn Sacred Geometry cards. We got the Throat Chakra, card number five, the frequency of the Throat Chakra, the Blue Flower of Life supports our self-expression and our sense of peace and balance. And then 37 adding to 10, which is a materialistic blessing of public status kind of number says the frequency of realization supports the internal process of becoming aware of our heart-centered truth as well as the external process of becoming our highest expression in this world so you're very much on a path to sharing some sort of brilliant creation that you've been ruminating on and deciphering for yourself and getting an idea of how you were going to portray yourself so before we hop into the individual parts of your life i'm going to roll these astrology dice to see what um significant planets and energies and signs may be at play for you so let's see here we have wow okay so we have neptune and i'm kind of just like taking that in for a minute so neptune is the planet that rules um, deception, illusion, dreaminess, fantasy, and it is also the god of the screen. So I'm thinking like 
this pile might have a lot of people who literally are like content creators or people in the public eye or are trying to be something of that sort and it's been hard because like you've had to climb your way to get to where you are now and other people might think it's been easy for you but it hasn't been and um and you know I always think about the archetype of Pisces being something that works incredibly hard to put out this vibe or this front, right? So it's a very elusive, beautiful experience and you might have a lot of dreamy insights and spiritual experiences this month, but that doesn't mean that you won't be working and putting in effort. So be cautious of escaping or disassociating or losing sight in the realm of fantasy. Make sure to show up every single day, which is why I think Capricorn is showing up here, because it's like you still gotta stay structured. If you want the, these dreams to pay off, you still gotta put the work in. It's not going to be handed to you. If it hasn't been handed up, if it hasn't been handed to you up until this point, it's not going to start. So you gotta just keep rewiring, reworking, and retrying until you find that sustainable flow in which that payment continues to come in, right? And then the seventh house of partnership ruled by the sign of Libra um, is all about forming partnerships that are beneficial. So if you have partnerships that are not mutually beneficial, those things could be changing this month so that you can form ones that are. And then certain things could be coming in, opportunities, blessings, and new connections could also kind of be significant and relevant to this month. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the individual aspects of the month. I'm gonna start with the spiritual side of things. We're gonna pull two cards from the Sacral Chakra Oracle by the Zen Goddesses. They gifted me this deck. Okay, let's see here. We're gonna pull three. So we have the Passion Warrior card number 14. 14 is the number of temperance, sobriety, balance, um, and things like that. So you might, again, need to be very cautious of avoiding like fantasy or getting lost along the way. You need to be very mindful that you're staying in your safety zone of routine and structure and things like that. Like it's going to take precision and, um, I hear the word steadfastness. You cannot, um, ve you cannot veer away from showing up every day. You can be as creative and boundless as you'd like in your creative process, but don't like go off the handle and make some crazy like plan that isn't set in reality at all, right? Um, passion warrior though makes me feel like you're fighting to really embody and do what you wanna be doing. For emotions, the hair being like a river in this card makes me kind of feel like there's been so many emotions that have been moving through you and cleansing you, but also confusing you. And 10, expectations makes me feel like, you know, you have been let down. You might be losing a little bit of motivation or you might struggle with taking the small steps for granted. Like you make progress, but it's not the grand, this huge grand vision coming to life. So you don't know how to appreciate it. And that's something that you need to work on um, if that's true for you. Okay, so spiritually, um, be careful not to get lost in the realm of fantasy, really. Like in the real, in this real world, we must show up every day and put the work in and be mindful and make our structure something that's both sustainable and healthy for us while also being not set in this lackluster like other world that's just not going to like make us do any work like i just feel like you have to keep showing up you can't just stop you know just because the going gets good doesn't mean you're done and that you should goof off or like go party or something like that like you got to stay vigilant if you want this to be sustainable and you don't want to return to this state that you just recently worked through that's the the message i'm really getting here Okay, so in terms of love life, we're going to pull one from the Goddess deck by Doreen Virtue. Actually, we're going to pull two. So we have Siege, Siege, Quiet Time. Take some quiet time alone to rest, meditate, contemplate. 
and extra medicine woman, you are a channel for divine healing power. I have a feeling that love life is just going to be going as per usual. So if you're single, you might stay single this month. Um, if you're in a relationship, it might be more about you right now. I don't think that this is, obviously it's not bad. It's actually about healing, purifying, and getting to the bottom of the self. And I think that you already probably know what that means. I don't think I need to explain. Um, okay, sorry, the dog is barking. But I think that this time is more about channeling. We had a lot of stuff about channeling and creativity. So taking this time to really form a practical plan to keep your creativity flowing and to keep your projects coming out and to keep your, yourself on track towards this goal that you might have. This month is about staying on track and also seeing the beauty behind staying on track and what comes of that and what rewards will be reaped because of your ability to stay clear and healthy and outside of those toxic traits you've already worked through and to continue to be incredibly humble and to be available to understand you know sometimes expectations are let down and sometimes you don't have all of the fulfillment that you might deserve but you do have more than you've ever had and it's a great time to just continue working on what is available to you rather than ruminating on what is not especially in the aspect of love life um though i do see some very deep spiritual times between lovers if you are in a relationship i'm seeing tantric expressions and journeys and things like that to be had that are more wise and mature than um any experiences you may have had with another. So then we're going to go ahead and move into work life. I'm going to be pulling a medicine card. These are all animals. So this is work, finances, kind of like the direction of career. We have the deer. I don't really read inversals. Ooh, the moose, number 11, and then the owl, number 12. I usually don't read inversals for oracle cards just because they are so, um, polite in general. I don't think they're meant to be like very heavy hitting and hard to decipher and like challenging, if you will. But whenever I do see a reversal, I just assume that it's kind of an unacquainted energy that needs some time to digest, be understood and integrate or something that might have some resistance around it to the person that I'm reading for. So we have the deer, moose, jumped out an owl. So right off the bat, the deer makes me feel like someone whose inner child is really something that they are looking to um, not impress, but to fulfill. There's a part of your inner child that's really rooting for you and wanting you to get what you want. And your inner child is letting you know that it's going to be there watching the whole entire time and that it's been there watching the whole entire time that it's not going to leave you and that sense of innocence and dreaminess has always been a part of you and always will be and that the universe is working in your favor this month in june and so um your sense of cleanliness of mind and ability to just really be present and unjaded will pay off monumentally as long as you don't believe you're a victim or get lost in your anger or get lost in impatience and keep going forward with the beginner's mind, you will form a structure in your, your career and in your ability to attain the things that you want to attain and achieve the milestones of your own personal business or whatever you're working towards that you want. It's completely possible and, and your inner child is a big part of attaining those things. Now jumping out was the moose and I feel that this like kind of horned creature has a lot to do with leadership. Um, there's underdog energy here in a way and the number 11 has stuck out in all three piles now. There's been some significance around it and 11 is the number of abrahadabra, taking something from one phase of evolution into the next and being able to really like transition and understand that as things leave you it's really just a part of you passing on that no longer serves you 
and that whatever comes out on the other side is something you've been dreaming of and hoping to like be you know and so you do have some very alchemical changes happening to you this month that show up in the physical realm and the owl being here is like the goddess of the underworld is is watching out for you and protecting you and through all of the trials and tribulations and through any pain or any emotional letdown you might experience along your path you're always coming out unscathed unharmed safe and still evolving you have something very brilliant inside of you that is going to remain and you're always safe and held and warmed even through the phases of death you know death is omnipresent in life something is always passing away if you will something is always passing through we are always releasing aspects and beliefs and habits and it's beautiful because it makes space for evolution really death has to be in order for life to be because life could not be sustained if it weren't for the disposal of the things that destroy life right so whatever leaves let it leave in terms of work thing some of you might be dealing with an ending of some sort and trust me it might seem dark and scary but it's really fine and you have better things to do more fulfilling things ahead of you no matter what now <clears throat> I'm gonna do a little bit of tarot over top of these individual aspects just to get another little look inside for you So we have the King of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, the Will of Mars or the Tower, the Four of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so I think you're kind of dealing with something that you're irritated with. Something is not living up to your expectations. This could be multiple parts of your life. Um, you might be someone who struggled with addiction also and that could be another thing that you're still moving through processing. and. And you, you got to give yourself some credit here because you've gone through some very intense changes and come out very much more on top than most people could um, ever achieve and make it to, right? So King, Page, and Knight of Pentacles, all major arcana in the Pentacles, meaning that you're definitely destined for some material upgrades. More money's coming in advancements um, you're going to be making money in ways that I don't think you expect some good money news is coming your way so um, and the good money news is a part of the many layers that are going to allow you to really believe that some of your bigger dreams are definitely around the corner such as you know if you want to get a house if you want to move if you want to those are the main two that I'm getting but if you want to like kind of break out of these old containers that money has held you back from doing so that's definitely going to be something that you now see as possible this month but there's going to be more change before that actually happens and you'll have to be patient with certain things because the universe does have some timeline switches that you're not yet aware of why um, things may need to be on pause for a second and it will make sense to you probably already does in a way and or it will in the next three months but down the road it'll definitely make sense why you needed to wait a little bit so some patience will go a long way this month for you and then lastly i want to just pull an oracle card for you to kind of close this out and then i'll give you a spell card this is from the work here or no the starseed oracle by rebecca campbell we have child of the cosmos the intelligence of the universe lies within you okay we have a lot of child stuff we've had multiple child things um so oh my god there's the eye that i'm wearing on my ring okay sorry so also spirit babies could be big this month you could conceive or have an interaction with your future children or children could be a part of things and also leo we had a lot of sun leo energy going on and leo rules the fifth house of children so children could be kind of teachers and insignificant and if you're hoping to conceive that could also be um, in your favor this month but the, what this really says is you came here with a vision you've always had this vision this goal um, this idea of the essence of yourself and that is going to be something that there's major moves 
happening in in the month of June and this is very good and surprising and um, exciting for you and the last thing I'm going to do is just pull a spell card for you Ooh. stop bathroom accidents <laughs> and then okay well some of you might have a dog that is like peeing in the house or something so here we go if you want to screenshot that there's stop bathroom accidents for your dog and then we also have protect protect and connect with wildlife if you'd like to screenshot that and do that spell this month those were two that came out for you okay so i hope you enjoyed this reading and received something from it if you did please leave a comment below um and let me know and just take what serves you and leaves the rest. If anything didn't, just leave it here. It's a general reading. Um, and until next time, I'll see ya. Bye.